الحمد للہ وقفا وصلاۃ وسلام علی عباد الزین استفا خصوصاً علی افضل و خاتم النبیین محمد الامین و علی علیہ و صحبہ اجمعین اما بعد فقط قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی کما ورد فی صورت الانعام اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَضَرَّعُونَ فَلَوْلَا إِذْ جَاءَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا تَضَرَّعُوا وَلَكِنْ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَزَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حتى اذا فرحوا بما اوتوا وخذناهم بغتة فاذا هم مبلسون فقطع دابر القوم الذين ظلموا والحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى امين يا رب العالمين dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته by the grace and blessing of allah we are starting our study today with ayah number 42 of surah al-an'am in the four ayat that i have just recited a very important divine law regarding the messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been explained the institution of prophethood and for that matter the institution of messengerhood of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has come to an end in the person of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but it had been a very important institution throughout the human history and there are certain laws of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding this institution that were immutable could never be changed one of the laws was that whenever a messenger was sent to a nation or a group of people or a community or some region Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order that they should wake up from their slumbers sent to them small afflictions small chastisements so that if you know because of abundance of food and abundance of everything because they have you gone uh, away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have gone to deep slumber they might you know wake up from their deep slumber but you know if the nation that was to be doomed you know and they do, they never responded to these small uh, chastisements from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then after all these things the final verdict of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came and then there was no concession for such people to whom a messenger had been sent who had made everything absolutely clear there remain no doubt now for any sincere person who wanted to know what is right there could be no difficulty now so then the nation was eliminated totally annihilated that is called azabul akbar when the whole nation was annihilated and this is what happened to the people of nu to people of hud to people of saleh to the cities to which hazrat lut was sent to the people of shaib to the ali firaun and so on this has been the divine law now this is the divine law which has been given in very brief one ayah in surah sajda wala nuziqannahum min al azab al adna dun al azab al akbar la'allahum yarji'un we will give them small punishments small chastisements before the final and the big exterminating chastisement or punishment maybe that they wake up from their deep slumber and they return to us in repentance and you know asking our forgiveness 
سو دس از دی لا گیون ان دیز فور آیات ولقد ارسلنا الى امم من قبلك او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وی سینٹ اور میسنجرز ٹو سو مینی نیشنز بیفور یو فاخذناهم بالباساء وی سیز دیم ود مجری وضراء اینڈ ڈسٹریس لعلهم يتضررون سو دیٹ دے می بی ہمبل ٹوورڈز اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی دے می ٹرن ٹو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی فلاولا جاہم باسنا تضرعو دین وائی ڈڈ ناٹ وین سچ افلکشنز کیم ٹو دیم وائی ڈڈ دے ہیومیلیٹ وائی دے ناٹ دے شوڈ ہمبلنس ٹوورڈز اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ولیکن قصد قلوب بٹ دیئر ہارٹس ہیڈ آلریڈی ہارڈنڈ ہارڈن ٹو دیٹ ایکسٹینس that even these chastisements could not wake them up from their slumbers wa zayyana lahum ash shaitanu ma kanu ya'malun and satan had made what they were doing very beautiful for them well we are doing very good deeds we are prospering we have a you know very good civilization our culture is very high we are holding high position all these things you know they made them stick to their wrong paths and even these smaller chastisements from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which were sent to wake them up from their slumbers they couldn't wake them فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ now this نَسُوا here doesn't mean نِسْيَان in the means of forgetting something because there we have find we, we can find in, in another ayah of the Quran إِنَّا نَسِيْنَاكُمْ كَمَا نَسِيْتُمْ لِقَا يَوْمِكُمْ هَذَا So nisyan here means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can never have anything, you know, like forgetfulness. Nisyan here means to ignore. Just, you know, turn away. Falamma nasu ma zukkiru behi. When they ignored all that with which they were admonished. We sent them our ayat. We showed, we gave the, the messengers the miracles also. Everything came to them. Falamma nasu ma zukkiru behi. Now they just ignored everything. فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْمَ وَابَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ And then we opened the gates of all blessings on them. Okay, if you are going that way, go. And we, are, we give you more to eat. We, we, we shall give you more to enjoy. حَتَّى إِذَا فَرَيْهُ When they were rejoicing, their slumber rising from the, their deep sleep. بِمَا أُوتُوا what, what we had been given, which, what we had given to them. أَخَذْنَا هُمْ بَقْتَةً فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْلِسُونَ Then we seized them suddenly. And then they were in despair and frustration. فَقُطِعَ دَابِرُ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا And then the roots of that nation, evil doing nation, was cut off. The roots were cut off. This is, you know, final punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That the whole nation is done away with. Those people now, it appeared they never, they never existed. When the people of Nuh were finished and annihilated, exterminated, it seemed that they never lived in, on this earth. When this, this nation of Aad was eliminated, now you could see their dwellings, you could see their palaces that, were they, that they had built, but not the people who were living in it. Kalam yagno fiha. They became as if they were never living in these cities and towns and regions. And another mode of expression, لا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَاكِ نُهُمْ Now you can see only the dwellings in which they, were used, they, they used to dwell and live. Not the people, not the dwellers therein. So this has been a law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the messengers. But this is not the law for the prophets. This is only for the messengers. And this is agreed upon among all the scholars and you know the Mufassirin of Quran that Prophethood is general. Messengerhood is special. Every messenger must be a prophet also. But every prophet is not a messenger. Prophets who were not messengers, they were just like the awliya Allah, the very pious people living among the men. But you know, to them was coming wahi also. Revelation was coming. But they were not appointed specifically to a nation. But when a prophet was appointed specifically, go to Fir'aun. Izhab ila Fir'aun innahu taga. Now with this special appointment, now he become, became a messenger. Wa ila adin akhahum huda. Specific appointment. 
to the people of Ad, we sent from their own brethren Hud. Waila Samuda, Akahu Saleha. So actually, when a prophet appointed, just as we have, I don't know what is the case here in Pakistan, there is a cadre of civil service. Somebody has qualified to be CSP. Now he can be appointed as a deputy commissioner somewhere. So that is an appointment. But his cadre remains, he is a member of the CSP. Then there is a lower rank and that is PCS. These ranks remain the same. But the appointments can change. He can, he can be appointed as deputy commissioner somewhere or some deputy secretary in the central government and so on. So that is appointment. Prophethood is the cadre to whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending his revelation. Maybe he has, he has not been appointed for a particular people. He will be living. You can have the example of Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam. He never called that just believe me. Aminu bi. He didn't put the condition to the king of Egypt. Unless you believe in me, I am not going to help you out of all this, you know, catastrophe that is going to befall your country. No. He was a Nabi. He was a prophet only. Not a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the difference. Nabi and Rasul, there's a difference. And that is why I gave you these, you know, these ayat, they are the law. We must say it has been the law because now this institution of prophethood as well as messengerhood has come to an end. This has been the law with the messengers. Whenever a messenger was sent to a nation, now there was no third alternative. Either you believe in him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you all the blessings. If you reject the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now you forego your right of existence on this planet. You will be done away with. You will be exterminated, the whole nation annihilated. And that is, you know, the story of all these messengers, which is being repeated many a time in the Quran. What happened to the people of Nuh? What happened to the people of Hud? What happened to the people of Saleh? What happened to the cities to which Luth was sent? What happened to uh, the people of Shaib? What happened to Ali Firaun? Why? This was the divine law. It must be remembered.